Hello YouTube, Murta here and uh, with today's video I would like to talk about the Warfare race of Antorus and for how many, a lot of people this has been, been a disappointment because this race has been extremely short the Argus kill has been made uh, the Wednesday of the second resets of Mythic. What I would like to address uh, is that ma a lot of people fail to understand that since uh, Mythic has become a f has become a thing with Warlords of Draenor, that we cannot uh, use first skills to address the difficulty of a raid out and by that understand if it is a easy raid or an hard one of course there are expansion like this has been for Emerald Nightmare that has been a easy is probably the easiest tier that we have in a lot of time so, at first I would like to speak about the Argus kill and want to make you understand how these guilds are run in a completely different matter. Just look at this setup that we had here for, for Argus. They have run with three tanks. What does this mean? That these guilds always manage to play the encounter with the best setup possible. What does this mean? That of course Argos it has been designed by Blizzard to be played with two tanks, but having three allow them to play safer on some mechanics. That the I don't know why, because of course the kill video has not been released yet but if, if we want to take another example we can take Shivara. even here we have a change of setup where we saw there are basically only one ranger dps uh, only one mid dps sorry and by surprise it is a rogue which is the class which is the melee class that have a lot of immunities and primarily thanks to clock of shadow so what I want to address uh, by this is that we fail to understand that medium high progress skill so I'm speaking of skills that are rank 100, 80, 150 move of progress what people fail to understand is this, this these other skills have not the same resources and time investment that these guilds are. So this means that probably where method took uh, four, three hours to beat this boss, they will take a lot more of time because they maybe have a setup with more ring, with more mid DPS because the the players there are not willingly happy or they don't intend to have five uh, to play five character on the same level to give them on par with gear so they can achieve the, the kill on the easiest way possible they will probably play the encounter how the designer have developed it which gives that they will meet a lot the difficulties will be studied as the developer have intended them. So let's give a look right now of the percentage of kills. As now we see that this raid has, has some brick wars. The Fairlands I think is the first one because Blizzard have habituated us that the first boss of Mythic is usually easier than the last one of Heroic. Not uh, 
numerically wise, but mechanically wise. So this means uh, E hits harder, but we have less mechanics to play. If we saw from even with Tantoran, Portal Keeper, and Hionar, the, per the percentage became even lower, probably for a lot of reasons. Maybe Hionar is easier than Antoran and Portal Keeper, but we have a lot of, of trash to deal with, so maybe guilds prefer to focus on Antoran, especially because you get tired pieces on them. We have the first real brick wall, that is Immonar. Of these 3000 guilds, uh, only 300 as, n as today, Sunday, have managed to beat the encounter. So only the 10% of those guilds. And watching King, King Garof is another brick wall with enough. Then the second, the other brick wall is Shivara, which we understood that it is very hard because how unfun it is for melee, mechanically wise. So, what is the message that I want to give with this video? That we have to stop to see, to trying to pardon it our guilds with the first the world first ones and especially on a, an understanding uh, how hard a raid really is. I think that Antorus is probably a better version of Tombo Sargeras because where Tombo Sargeras was really unfun especially because a lot of mechanics that require soaking and making them really unfun. And the prime example is Kill Jaden. Kill Jaden has been, uh, is, maybe the most successful boss, but at the same time, the most successful one on another side. Successful because it took a lot of time to progress. We did p p the boss, we, it was since Archimond, that we have this with this we encounter require a lot of time to progress. With Archimond was gated behind uh, the legendary ring. And so you c you have somehow a way to your rate to get better. But for Kiljane it's not the same. It's not the same uh, because on how strictly the mechanics and basically one one fail one single personal fail there is there is can result in our oh, in our equipment wipe and not for a fact kill Jaden it is by now the most nerfed boss in the history of Warcraft. I think the last round of nerfs came two weeks is two weeks before the release of Antorus. And with this time, it has been constantly nerfed over time, with nerf coming every two weeks, I think. And it has been said by method that that, that encounter was particularly unfun for them, compared to Gul'dan or Helia, that, that has been a lot more successful as last boss. A lot of boss encounters. So, I think that now Blizzard have learned the lesson that they have not to focus their attention when they design a boss on the first 10 guild, 10, 20 guilds on the ladder. Because this means creating a very unfun boss. They don't mean, they don't mean they are hard. It means they are um, fun because it's not uh, fun when. Because what you have to understand is that I will keep. Uh, I will try to take Armageddon as an example. Armageddon of mythic spawns 10 
small swirlies and if I remember correctly two big swirlies so that means that more than half the reds have to deal with these mechanics you have to favorite because of the numbers classes they have can go through a lot of damage reduction or immunities and also on an encounter that lasts like 12-14 minutes and that, me that uh, mechanics is a constant on the encounter now if we think that these guilds raids a day on progress around 8-9 hours per day the percentage of human failure is really high because no one even the best player in the world can remain 100% focused for this amount of time it's, I think it's impossible so having an encounter without mechanics like that where, for, where if someone does a mistake because it can happen in a span of time this big having absolutely no way to recover I think is completely bad design it's not fun because this also means that your raid progression means nothing because what you guys mean that mean you get no more a uh, power power increase every every reset every gear every gear face of gear you get even so normally in our meeting or forge it or forge it or every new legendary this means that or concordance level this means that you're you have no room to improve your performance <laughs> and this makes this is not a good decision in the local term and in fact we saw all the nerfs kill Jade didn't take so I think if we want to give an opinion about Antorus we will it, we will have to wait and think until till February to have a completely a complete review of the situation for now seeing the numbers I think that this raid is really good to tune and on design on a design level is probably better is way better than Tomb of Sargeras I think that Blizzard have understood uh, with the less the lesson with with Tomb of Sargeras so that's pretty much it so don't listen to the crowd that say this this raid is easy because it is not as now we see that less than one percent of the guilds in the world have managed to get to beat the to beat even the one of a mid a mid bosses of the of the raid so what my suggestion is just play don't listen to them have fun remember that th the first guilds are s performance wise and resources resource wise we can't miss our, our ourselves with them so don't take them as as an example take uh, a guild central rank 100 a 100 200 for taking an example with your guild and compare your uh, your performance so thank you much for listening and i would like to see your opinion on the comment section below thank you so much and bye bye